When using a spreadsheet, you'll be needing to input data. Um, sometimes you may just want to do that by typing it in yourself. When you are selecting a cell, it will be in blue. And when you type into that cell, it will show up in the cell itself and up in the box above here. If you want to go to the right, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can just click on the next cell over. Um, or you can hit tab, and every time you hit tab, it moves you to the right. If you want to move down, you can click down, you can use the arrow down, or you can hit enter, and it will move you down along the row. So you'll also notice when I typed in this information, I'm just typing in random nonsense right now, but when I have stuff typed in, it goes into the next cell. It's overflowing and overlapping on B. That doesn't mean it's in B at all. It's still only in cell A. It just is showing over cell B because there's too much information. You can adjust the size of your cell if you need to by dragging the line at the top over, and then it fits. Or there's a lot of formatting, formatting options you can use in these cells. So one way to format a cell if you want an individual cell, have that highlighted. Maybe you want the whole column to be highlighted. So if you click on the column letter, it will highlight the whole col column. And then you can go to Format in this menu up above. So you go to Format, and we're going to go down to Text Wrapping. So right now it has Overflow selected, and that's why it's overlapping and going into um, B, or at least showing above B. You can hit wrap, and what that's going to do is make it go to a new level, so like it increased the height of cell A so that there's more space and it fits everything in there. You could also select clip. Oh, wrong one. Let's go to format again. You can select clip, and then it won't show above B, but it will just kind of disappear. It'll be clipped off. So if you're inputting my hand, you have to type it in yourself. You can also copy and paste. Um, usually the best type of information to copy and paste is already kind of in a table format. So this again is just kind of random nonsense, but you can highlight it and copy it. I'm going to hit Control C to copy. You could also right click if you wanted to copy and then I'm going to paste. So I'm going to hit Control V and it pastes that table into the spreadsheet. So now we have a whole bunch of information. When you input new information, it might mess with the formatting. So you might have to go back and reformat it. So we're going to click the cell again. And let's maybe do text wrapping and wrap that information so that it's all in one cell. But notice now it's all different heights of cells, depending on how much information was in the cell itself. Or you can make it wider, and then it adjusts the height to be a little shorter for each cell. Another type of formatting is number formatting. When we format our numbers, usually there's some numbers we might use a lot, like percentages or decimals. Um, in accounting, you might use currency numbers. So when you select that formatting, so like let's select currency, when you type in a number, it will automatically, when I go to the next cell, it's automatically going to put that dollar sign on in front of it. So it's not really a big difference because I'm still typing in the numbers myself, but it can make it a little bit quicker when you're entering in data and you want it to look a certain way because it will kind of automatically add information to it that you might want, like a dollar sign to indicate that this is money. Spreadsheets are used a lot in like finances or budgeting or any time of type of financial analysis. So it's good to have it showing that this is a currency and not like a random decimal. Another type of formatting is date formatting. So we go to number again and go down to date. So when we do that, um, especially if you're putting in dates from the current year, like today is August 7th, so 8-7, if you just type in only that and scroll down, the formatting will automatically put the year. That doesn't work if you're doing previous years, you know, if we wanted August or 
October 1st of 2017. We do have to type the whole thing, but it is one way to input and make it a little easier to enter in dates from the current year. So there's a lot of different types of formatting you can do. There, these are just the basic kinds, but it's a super helpful tool to automatically enter in extra things you might want without having to do quite as much typing.